boards and a physiotherapy board as well. Um, and a couple times during school, you're taking boards the next week you're taking finals. Wow. Your instructors do not give you a break whatsoever. So you're talking, you're studying and me personally, I had about four three inch binders filled to the brim with, with knowledge that I had to know the next weekend I had to know and do uh, lab practicals and, and written finals that are wow. just as hard. So, um, you live off a of coffee. I will say that much. It's not the best thing in the world, but you, uh, <laughs> especially me at the time, my daughter was an infant. So, oh man, took advantage of when she fell asleep and, and the coffee kept me going. Wow. Did you, uh, this might be kind of gross, but did you have to work on like cadavers or anything yes, like we that? Did. Wow. So that, that was an experience too. Um, you, you start day one of anatomy lab and you have a fresh cadaver and you're in a room with, in my case, we had 10 cadavers, I believe in our, in our room. So yeah, there's 10 dead bodies just laying there and you have that cadaver. Uh, we had it for a little over a year and you go head to toe. It, it's, it really? gets very personal. Um, and you don't look, especially the first week you do, I, I always tell patients, like when we did it, like I didn't look at grilled chicken the same way oh. for quite some time. Oh. Um, we made the mistake. I, I met some guys there and we went to Chick-fil-A right <laughs> after day one and I could not eat my sandwich. I could not do it. <laughs> Thanks for the visual. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> yeah. See, I, you know, I, I've never been in that realm. I mean, the medical realm or anything like that. Um, so that's why I wanted to ask you about that. Cause it just seems like such a such a, a foreign thing to me, I guess. I don't know. It is to most people me. and death is not something that people usually openly talk about. So, yeah. um, well, see, especially seeing it and then like hand, handling it hands on it's, it's, it's a different beast for me. The biggest thing was hands and feet mm -hmm. that freaked me out by far the most. Why is that? I have no idea. Just I, anytime I would brush up against a hand or a foot around walking around the, the, the cadavers, oh, it freaked me out. Uh, <laughs> I think that's for me, that's when it became a little bit more real is the yeah. problem. I think just knowing how I'm wired, I would look at them and I think I would get too lost in the the poeticness of it. Like, what's their backstory? What 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 kind of life did they live? Like, I would be too busy filling in that backstory. I think in my That own part head. is cool because you essentially what we did, I mean, we knew how they died mm -hmm. um that's on their tag but that that was the cool part is to actually visually see like for instance we had one uh one of the cadavers uh he was a large male and you could tell didn't wasn't very healthy um he passed away of i believe it was an embolism but it was crazy after after actually going in internally and cutting